Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Angry TV with me, Angry Britain. Um, apologies for sounding a bit stuffed up and a bit bunged up and a bit gross. Um, it's not the COVID, don't worry, it's a bit of man flu and it's on its way out, but I'm a bit croaky and a bit snotty and I just sound like a five-year-old snotty kid. Um, so anyway, if you've been watching the channel recently, you'll know that I've um, I sold an MTG. Um, I also sold a couple of other bits out of my collection, a Kanoa and and stuff and that means i've got some money to spend um so i've spent some of it on the gmw which um i'm not wearing today hmm. um well i have spent some more of it on on something else um i didn't know what to buy um i've been looking at um the g-shock dragon ball um i was looking at the gravity master and just all sorts really i didn't i didn't want to spend a fortune but i wanted to replace the ones that have gone um so for quite a while i've been eyeing up the um the uh, the g steel range um i nearly bought the the rose gold blue one which was really nice um just didn't get around to it and then it sold out um but i've always kind of gone back to them just thinking they're, they're quite nice they're a little bit different and yeah there's, there's some quite cool ones um so obviously as part of having a look around i've been googling stuff and looking at various models um and one popped up and it popped up for 150 quid less than it should have been which was brilliant so the next thing i did was went and had a look on um, like ebay and places like that to see if i could find this particular model and lo and behold there was one there and it was still a hundred and something quid less than it should have been so i sent the seller a message and just said hey look what do you really want for this will 200 quid do it and um he came back and he said a little bit disappointed with that to be honest but okay so brilliant so within you know a few hours i paid him and and yeah it arrived so shall we have a look okay so here it is um, needless to say it is a g-shock um and it's in a brushed tin or brushed box um it's second hand okay this one is a second hand jobby brilliant um the guys really looked after it which is great a little bit of damage on the box but nobody cares um so let's have a look and see what's inside it talk amongst yourselves um, okay, so we've got the usual array of meaningless, pointless bits of paper, including a tag. Oh, it's there. I'm not going to show you what's in it. Um, warranty card, bits and bobs, and we just don't care. It's paper. Nobody cares. Nobody looks at it. Nobody cares. Um, G Shock. It's definitely G Shock, so that's all right. So it's in a uh, brushed tin, which is really quite nice. So, yeah, that's. that's third different type of tin i've got now what sort of nerd am i looking at tins so yeah i suppose it's more of like a premium product it comes in a funky tin but then it's g steel so steel i guess let's have a look in here i just just to be transparent i have had this out already i know it's fine but i thought i'd just box it up and make it look nice for the video um so yes let's take it out of here like christmas remove the foam and Ready? Here it is. Nice. Very nice. It's quite dark in here. I'm going to get that properly focused. Let's stab the screen and see if that helps. Oh yeah, there you go. That's better. So there you go. So it is uh, the. Hang on, I have to go look at the box because I'm not prepared. Because I'm a. <laughs> um, it's the GST B100B 1A3ER. So this is one of the G Steel models. Um kind of like a blacked out version which is pretty nice um now this here is actually kind of lime green um now it sounds disgusting but in truth it's more yellow which is nice and as you know from all my other watch videos i've got a thing about black and yellow watches um so this is going to fit in really nicely it's kind of quite hard to get a decent look at this i think i'm gonna tap it again hang on Let's see if we can sort it out professional video making right here but anyway, you get the idea, okay? It's, it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's got a touch of like hublot about it. Um, it's got a metal metal buckle, plastic keeper with G-Shock embossed into it. That's pretty nice. Um, on the back, back's all engraved nicely. And one of the particularly nice touches is the button on the side, which is also in the same lime green. This is the connect button for the Bluetooth. Um, and that's just, I think, a really quite a nice looking thing. Now, as someone who's owned an MTG, I have to say, for a third of the price, I wouldn't say this looks any worse. 
and the quality is pretty good yeah I, I'm not not quite sure how Casio can justify the extra and by extra I mean about 700 quid for an MTG over a G Steel. Now that's a bit of an eye opener for me because as the owner of, or as an ex owner of a carbon MTG, I'm not sure I'd buy another one, which also doesn't bode well for my plans to have an MRG at some point because why would I spend two and a half grand on one or more when this is actually really bloody nice? So the G Steel range is lots of different ones. Um, there's a version of this with like an orange um, orange dial and that's um, something to do with like the battery level. I think it sort of counts down when it's running out of battery. It, it turned up almost flat so I've had to have it in the window for a day charged up. But all of this stuff kind of moves around and look, there you go, see it moving. No idea, I need to read the manual. RTFM, but I'm not going to do that. So uh, yeah, I wish you could see it properly. I thought it was spinning away to itself. So it's, it's quite basic in functionality. It does attach to Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth does like your world timing, your timers and all that, all that stuff. But other than that, it, it does nout. So it, um, it's got tough solar, so it's solar charged. Um, I don't know if it's multiband. Yeah, it's multiband as well, this one. So it gets the atomic clock time stuff to it. And yeah, but it just tells the time, but it's just a nice looking thing. So it's, you know, from a distance, it's, it's it's got a touch of hublot. So what I'll do is I'll put it on and um, you can see what it looks like on the wrist. But um, yeah, I'd love to know what you think about that. Tell me in the, tell me in the comments. Right, let's get it on. Right, okay, so that's it on the wrist. Actually, that's better, you can see it better like that. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's nice. So from a distance, the riveting, it's, it's a bit, it is a bit hublot. You know, I think that's really nice. It's it's quite comfy. Um, the, the it's got a, a PVC strap, which is, you know, it's great. It's always comfy to have one of those. Much better than a bar a bracelet, I think. Um, but it's just it's nice. It's not too big. Just compare it to the Mud Master. So it's a little bit smaller than the Mud Master, but it's still quite chunky. It's probably about as half as high. So it's, it's a nice size. It's a really nice size. It, it just feels feels good. It feels quality. I'm just gonna get it a little bit closer for you. Yeah, it's just you know, it's just kind of just kind of smart. So I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about yellow and black. What I do, I, it just does it for me. And my Frogman's like it, and my GA nine hundred is like it. I just I like that look. It's just it's just cool. So yeah, light's pretty decent. I'll show you the light, nice and bright. No problem seeing that in the dark. And the loom's quite good as well. I mean, it's just it's just a basic G-Shock. It just it just tells the time, and you've got world time and solar. So you know it's got a, a couple of little funky bits, but it, it's not. It's just a, it's a basic watch, but it's one that you could probably wear out and about. You know, like kind of smart. Smart night out, slip this on, it's quite class, but oh, well, what's that? that's interesting, is that Hublot? And you go, oh, no, it's not Hublot, it's Casio. But it's Casio, it costs 300 quid. <laughs> um, which is brilliant. So, yeah, I, I I, am a fan of this. I have to say, I like this more than I like the GMW. Mm. Yeah, the GMW, if you bought that retail, was a much more expensive watch as well, but this is just, I suppose horses for courses, you don't have to all like the same things, but I can see this getting a lot more wrist time than a GMW. Which wasn't quite the idea. On a night out, this is much more me than a shiny GMW. I'm not sure how long that GMW is going to stay in my collection, if I'm honest. Mm. But if you're in the market for an MTG, I thoroughly recommend that you check out the G Steel range first. Okay. Obviously, the MTGs they're hand built in Yamagata and they're lovely and they're probably better materials. And does it feel nicer than my MTG? Doesn't feel a lot different, to be honest. Doesn't. I, I, yeah, I, I, this is an eye opener, big time. So I've got my MTG and I thought it was amazing. I thought, oh wow, it's, it's such good quality, it's fantastic, the materials are lovely. But this, this is pretty nice, Casio. You kind of shot yourselves in the foot there. I don't know if I'll buy another one. Yeah, so there you go. So that's a. That's a Casio G Steel. Um, quick look from me. Um, obviously, I'll, I'll give it away and we'll see how we get on with it. But um, 
I like that quite a lot. I have to say it's probably my second favourite G now after the Frogman. Frogman is the favourite at the moment. But this is, yeah, this is smart. Mm. Mm. Interesting. So anyway, if you're in the market for a uh, G Shop, sort of slightly nicer, higher end one, MTG, MRG, check these out first. You could save yourself a fortune. Buy two or three of them. They didn't come in different colours. There's silver versions, black versions, and gold, rose gold versions, but it's a kind of nice as well. Um, yeah. The latest one. So anyway, this is probably the last watch I'm going to buy for quite a while. So don't worry, there'll be no more watch videos for the foreseeable future because I'm skint now. I've just bought a new car. There'll be a video coming on that soon. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this watch in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. Um, and I'll... See you next time. Another watch video. Brilliant. Cheers.